All right, for section C, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the bulkhead to make sure it's securely mounted, not damaged with no cracks or holes. And up at the top of the bulkhead, we're gonna check the clearance lights to make sure they are securely mounted, not damaged, amber in color and working properly. Then we'll take a look at the side of the trailer to make sure it's not damaged with no cracks or holes. Has a minimum of 50% DOT reflective tape along the side of the trailer and the amber reflective sticker is clean and present. Inspect the landing gear to make sure it's securely mounted, not damaged, with legs raised all the way up. Look at the crank handle to make sure it's securely mounted, not damaged, in a locked, secured position. Clearance light should be securely mounted, not damaged, amber in color, with three functions. Clearance light, turn signal, and four-way flashers. Now we're going to look underneath the trailer at the sliding tandem rail. We want to make sure it's straight, not bent, not damaged, not cracked, and with no illegal welds. Locking pins are securely mounted, not damaged, and in the locked position. The release arm and safety latch should also be securely mounted, not damaged, and in a locked position. The airline should be securely mounted, not damaged, not cracked or dry rotted, not leaking with a minimum of 18 inches clearance off the ground. The frame bracket, securely mounted, not damaged, no illegal welds, not cracked or broken. The equalizer and stabilizer should be securely mounted, not damaged, not cracked, not broken, and with no illegal welds. Underneath and connected to the frame bracket, you have the torque rod, which is securely mounted, not damaged, round, and adjustable. Across from the torque rod, you have the torque bar, securely mounted, not damaged, square, and not adjustable. Leaf springs should be securely mounted, not damaged, not cracked, not broken, no illegal welds, and secured with U-bolts. Tires need to be inflated to 100 to 110 PSI. You can check with a tire gauge or a thumper. No abrasions, bumps, or cuts. Not damaged, not leaking. Evenly worn. Same size and type across the axle. Does not need to be virgin tire. They can be recapped with a minimum of 230 seconds tread depth. Dual tires should have a 3 inch space between the tires. If there's debris in between, use a tool to remove it and not your hand. Inside, the rim should be touching and there should be no spacer. Rim should be securely mounted, not damaged, round, not cracked with no illegal welds. All lug nuts should be present and tight with none damaged, none missing. If they are loose, you will see white powder on aluminum rims or rust trails on steel rims. The valve stems should be securely mounted, not damaged, not leaking straight and have a metal cap. The axle seal should be securely mounted, not damaged, not leaking with all nuts and bolts present and tight. Brake hoses should be securely mounted, not damaged, not leaking, connected to the brake chambers, which should also be securely mounted, not damaged, and not leaking. Make sure the push rod is securely mounted, not damaged, straight, not bent, and the slack adjuster securely mounted, not damaged, with no more than one inch of free play when pulled by hand when brakes are released. Brake pad should be securely mounted, not damaged, with no less than one-fourth of an inch of brake lining left. No grease, oil, or debris. Make sure the brake drum is round, not cracked, not damaged, no illegal welds, and also no grease, oil, or debris. The mud flap should be securely mounted, not damaged, with DOT reflective tape present. The door tie should be securely mounted, not damaged. The ABS light securely mounted, not damaged, amber in color. To check it, when the truck turns on, it should turn on and then off. If it stays on, the ABS system needs to be serviced. The clearance light should be securely mounted, not damaged, and red in color. The clearance lights on the back of the trailer should also be securely mounted, not damaged, and red in color. Door hinges should be securely mounted, not damaged, not loose or missing. Trailer door should be securely mounted, not damaged, latches in a locked position with 100% DOT tape across the back. Tail lights should be securely mounted, not damaged, red in color, and the outside lights have three functions, turn signals, four-way flashers, and tail lights, while the inside lights have two functions, brake lights and tail light. This concludes Section C.